Hello, I'm Greg Allen and this is Kirk Neal from Response Fire and Electrical and we thought we'd make this quick video just to explain to you the difference between a halogen downlight, which you may have in your house already or have seen at friends' houses, and the new LED technology, the new LED downlights. I just want to talk a little bit about the heat first. So these fittings uh, will have about 500 degrees at the back of the fitting and they're extremely hot, unsafe, and you may have heard of all the fires starting from these downlights. Recently, they've, in an attempt to stop the fires, they've introduced a regulation where you need to put a heat canister on top to help dispel that heat. Um, but the heat is like fire isn't the only reason uh, you want to worry about that is the, the maintenance cost of these fittings due to the heat is tremendous. So you're going to have to get an electrin, uh, electrician out to come and have a look at changing these leads which melt and burn out and these transformers that also burn out from the heat of the light fitting. Um, these globes blow all the time which you may already know and you have to change them all the time whereas an LED fitting will last up to 12 years uh, without having to change any of the equipment or globe so you don't have to worry about paying for an electrician to always come out and change the transformer and lead um, like that. Come on, more energy. Down, up, down, up. Alrighty, so typically the old halogen downlights, uh, each globe there would consume 50 watts of power. Now, the new LED technology, these fittings consume 10 watts of power. So you're looking at running five LED downlights for the same price as you were running one mm. halogen downlight fitting. Yep. Um, this saving is, is continuous um, for the life of the fittings, and so you, you're always making money back on your saving uh, on your power bill. Yeah, it's not it's not a one-off saving or anything like that. Uh, yes, yeah, so because you want to like these fittings when you run them, uh, it's obviously costing you to run them continuously. Once you change over, it is an initial outlay to, to change them over, but within a couple of years you can pay them off, um, and then you continue to save from that point. It's a beautiful life. Oh, oh, oh. It's a beautiful life. These halogen downlights, they give a 60 degree beam. So what, what I mean by that is the, the beam that comes out of these fittings uh, is 60 degrees. So what you're left with is some shadowing, happening in your house. Uh, you may notice there's some dark areas and all that sort of stuff happening with the downlight. Um, and with the new LED lights, you get up to 120 degrees, which is like this. So it will shoot out of the light fitting, creating a larger space where the light is hitting in the home. Um, and th they put out a lot more light and lumens as well. So it brightens your home. Um, all that nice furniture that you bought, people will actually be able to see it. All right. Uh, what if they're a little bit too bright? Can they be dimmed? Yeah, you can install a dimmer to these downlights uh, to bring the light down in those areas where you, you want to have a bit of mood lighting and a dimmer can easily be installed. What about the maintenance of the LED lights? Okay, so with an LED light, there's less components. So your fitting is fixed. No globe to change, uh, which, which effectively means there's no user use a changeable parts. There is still a driver, like a transformer, but it's designed to run for that specific LED. So the lifespan you get out of all the components is far greater than what you ever did with a halogen downline. Yeah. Um, other maintenance issues, obviously, you went through the leads and stuff like that can, can melt, or you obviously don't get anywhere near the temperature from the back of an LED fitting. Uh, there's all sorts of other um, byproducts of that as well. Sometimes we go into homes where there's actual cabling run across the top of old halogen downlights which melts out. That's another another costly exercise to, to replace that cabling. Yeah. So you don't have any of those sort of issues with the reduced heat from the LEDs. Yeah. The other thing about the fixed uh, fitting that you have with these halogens, the halogens have this gap between here and you get dust and dirt falling from the ceiling into your home. So by swapping over to this, you minimize that happening as well. Yeah, so it's a totally sealed fitting. Um, another another pro, uh, positive for the LEDs is the uh, due to the, the lack of heat that these produce, you don't get that yellowing of the old halogen down. Mm. This is a nice new fresh white one and that looks all right. But you find over a few years, the heat and the temperature that these create, they, they turn them like a, a coffee sort of color. It goes all manky and yellow. So yeah, none of that with the new LEDs. Don't you think that looks better? Anyway, <laughs> I think it looks better. And then you can get... You can get these uh, 
anodized aluminium looking ones as well. So um, yeah, when we when we install them, we always install them with this socket outlet so that in future, if you wanted to, you can go and purchase your own fitting or come to us and we can just supply you with a fitting and you can replace it yourself, saves you another couple of dollars having to get an electrician out. So most of the uh, fittings these days are what we call plug and play. So they come with a flex and plug on the end here. Looks like a normal appliance, much like your toaster or your kettle or something like that. And we install this onto the existing wiring and then plugs in and snap and away you go. So if you ever do have an issue with the fittings in the future, it's very simple to change. No electrician required. Cool. Yeah, so we're happy to come out and give you a demonstration of these light fittings and a free quotation. Uh, just fill in the form uh, next to this video and we'll be in contact with you. Thank you.